hey, okay, so this is a five and a quarter inch drive, cryoflux, you know, PC stuff. Uh, five and a quarter inch drive um, is very old school. It has test points on there, which is nice of it. Uh, so I'm hooking off TP1 and TP2, which are conveniently next to each other. Now, this is where the head signal comes in from both heads. Uh, here's the head. I think, right, now. What we're looking for is the um, amplified signal from the head before it's been pulse shaped or generally messed with. Now, specifically an analog signal. Um, now, what we're doing is obviously the signal is differential, so the two probes going to a scope and the scope is set so that it's doing A plus B inverted, so it's going to show the difference between the two signals. Now, if I start prior flux, this is just going to make the disc spin and do things. So. Now you see, firstly we get pattern while seeking. Okay, so it's just reading away there. Now the pattern is, that's the bits. Now what I'm gonna do is lift the head slightly here by hand. Okay, you see I'm gonna lift, you see how that signal is going up and down like that? And that's me just raising and lowering the head. So that's clearly a nice analog signal that, that's not being, uh, not a digital signal. It's getting towards the outer of the disc. This is a 64 disc, so that's, and then the unformatted trucks. And what's interesting is in the unformatted trucks, there's no differential signal at all. Um, I don't know why the uh, weak bit stuff appears. Anyway, so that, I haven't traced out exactly what that signal is, but it's clearly an amplified analog signal off the read head, which is basically what we're looking for, which is handy.